One nil. This is elimination, boys and girls. Loser of this series is out of the tournament. So Vici now playing with their tournament life. There you go. Wisp ban. Insta ban. <laughs> don't, don't bother. So this hero very quickly went back to being an insta ban <laughs> after falling off for about two weeks. But for the strangest possible reason. Yeah. Poor Io. What a world. Also a Rubik ban. Okay, a little targeted around Yapsor. We mentioned at the end of that last panel was a particularly good performance there as well. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think if you like like to play heroes like Tidehunter, and you're against someone who has a really good seconds. Rubik, you, I don't think you can let it through. Yeah, Five the game just becomes so much more difficult. Turn to pick. And Secret not looking to give no away the Elder Titan either. or the Shadow Radiant's Demon. Yeah, turn. both of them have been pretty common openers. And Vici go back for the Ogre. Do you guys have? Like a set of heroes that you're afraid. Like if you were against VG Gaming, is there a set of heroes that you would be afraid to play against? Like if they picked, you know, yes, certain heroes, what would they be? Alchemist. Alchemist, but that's everyone, right? I, I mean, yes. like specific to VG Gaming. Does th Five does any star player have like a specific hero that you're afraid of? Like you think of OG and you're like, oh god, he's going to pick Monkey King or you know, uh, is it Voker or something like that? Yaps is going to pick Rubik. Nisha's going to pick. I don't think I watch enough Vici. I don't like, watch enough Vici no. either. No. I know I know but from pubs, Paparazzi plays a lot of Terror Blade. It's not really yeah. a good hero. Or isn't because Ori a big Lena player? Lena mid? Yeah, it's yes. like that, well, that's, that's the thing though. I I don't feel particularly afraid of any of that. Like you can think of Paparazzi. All right, Jug GG. Or congratulations <laughs> to Vici Gaming. <laughs> they won the game. I, I know Paparazzi plays a lot of Alp too. Yeah. So they just ban AA. I can't believe another team got fourth pick Alchemist. This shit is not okay. But I mean, but the yeah. thing is like, they, Team Secret the obviously counter? know about it. They 100% know of about course. it. And they 100% have something prepared for it. I feel like every time Five they think they have something remaining. prepared for it, they just get dumpstered by Alchemist and then ban it the next game. The I mean, it's only fair. First That's pick, what happened to them the first game. First with pick Wiss. in Alchemist is just insane. Because you need to take like Alk AA, I think, if you want if you wanted to, on second pick, if you wanted to like not just get instantly countered. But this way you can ban the AA, you can ban Timber or whatever it is you're afraid of, maybe Slark. So Team Secret, Secret does have Omni Knight, so they can't they can buff some sort of. Do you ban Void here if you're Vici? Are you afraid of this tiny Void combo still? Oh, that's a that's a good call actually. Uh, they ban the Bat Rider, which I mean that is a little bit intimidating, but. Void has proved very effective on the main stage. With, with Tiny in particular, uh, and especially Ten like with, with Secret playing this, uh, this combo. Remaining. I think you might be right. I yeah. think they take a Void. Dude, it's even cooler because uh, you have Omni Knight. You just put the, the shield on Tiny, does even more damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. We, we, I think we saw them run this, like these three heroes, exactly. Like Tiny, Omni, Void. In, uh, I think it was yesterday. I mean, it sounds great. I mean, the thing, I mean, I understand. We're like really scared of Alk, but. Oh, I'm so after, scared of Alk. After seeing how they played last game, I, I just find it so hard to believe that so it's. So, are there any mid matchups where. I know, I know Alk will just run to the jungle, but are there any like hard counter, like OD, right? Doesn't he kind of dumpster Alk? Is there anyone but he else? Pl he's played in the safe lane, so yeah. there's, there's like nothing. There's, there's okay, so you think he'll be safe lane 100%? Not yeah, I, I think, I think a, good, a good way to at least uh, abuse Alk's safe lane is picking heroes that can like push early because he's just going to run to the jungle. You can just dive and kill the support and then take the tower and then take the mid tower seconds. and then it's way easier to contest Alk in his jungle when you do that. And I, I think that's you exactly... Have to. You have to do that. I think that's exactly what the Omni Knight is about. Omni's really good at pressuring the lane and yeah. cutting the wave, but you can definitely Radiant's hold it. With like a Grimstroke or like an Ogre uh, bloodlusting in the tower. Like there's that's true. You also don't really want to like lane with Omni because you want him to get levels. Yeah, exactly. I mean, then again, they can, they can put them in like Ten the safe lane seconds. and just like try lane the off lane or something Five like that. That's true. That's, they that's, do have that's a win definitely a, a possible response. I really like Visage against this Alchemist. I think, I think uh, just hard pushing all of the towers on the map and, and, and just taking control of like this snowball, a really early game centric hero uh, makes a lot of sense against, against Alchemist. I still like Void. Good at try laning as well. Yeah, Void is just... V Void is like when you go into like the mid to late game, you will actually be able to kill the Alk in team fights because of your combo just being insanely broken. Yeah, and they don't have they haven't drafted any saves. Ten so seconds. if you get Chrono, like that, that's it. You gotta yep. wait it out. Five seconds. What's the what's the Grim combo? I mean, I know they have Ogre, which is which is which is good having the uh, double stun. But Concoction. Doom, Rasta. 
I, I think you start focusing on other things that you need right now. I think your combo as it is yeah. is already fine. Like you have Alk stun, you have Ogre. Like, like you, have, sure. you have Ink Skull Alk, right? With Bloodlust, he's always going to be able to chase you people think, down. You think they need some sort of save for the Alk? They could consider OD, I think so. right? Is the like last pick. Right. This is sort of a save, okay. but not really. I, I would definitely like a save just because you're against. Uh, it's kind of a save. Tiny Wind Runner, Wind Ranger. Get it right. Sorry, Diosin. Ten Centaur, seconds. very good against uh, Omni Knight. Decent, Five decent against Tiny Wind remaining. Ranger. Like these are not, these are not heroes that have some sort of extremely hard lockdown. I mean, I, I get there's like the Shackle, there's uh, Tiny Avalanche, but like positioning plays into all of these spells and having the Centaur ulti to just get out of a team fight is is very good against the secret lineup so far. Yeah. Although I think this hero is complete dog. I don't know what you guys feel. Like. Centaur? Centaur? Yeah, I, I feel like he's You think pretty. he's dog shit? I think he's a dog hero. That is an overstatement. I think he's good. You think he's good? Yeah, I think he provides a lot of utility for for your team. Like I think he's a very generic offlane stunning guy, and his ultimate is very good. Ten seconds. Stuns are nice, though. Well, that's kind of what you Stuns want Stuns get kills. Are good, yeah. He can cut waves. He's pretty good at dealing with shenanigans he, early on. Uh, he rushes waves, that's, pipe. That's not possible. R rushing pipe is the best part of that center. What is that hero? So I, I think they're expecting an Omni to be in the safe lane. They're going to set up a 1v1. Do you just queen a, queen a pain? Well, wait wait a minute. No. no. They need to carry. I think you void. Nisha void, dude. Void seems pretty good. Mid tiny. Void against Wind Ranger 4. Wind Ranger 4, right? Void against Razor. Void against remaining. Alchemist. Good against all of these heroes, actually. I feel like Void just has to be the pick, right? Yaps or Wind Ranger. Because they do need a Nisha hero. Lone Druid. I mean, they Call could, on the curve. They ball. could just go for like Omni Sven, but they're against a Razor. Yeah. And we've seen how Sven has gone up against this Alchemist. It doesn't. They, they either Void or they take. Uh, whoa. Uh, okay. I did not expect this. Nisha Bristle. So they're going to play a super up tempo game here on Secret. They'll have mana for the Bristle and the unkillableness of Omni there with the buffs. Is this core rain Wind Ranger? Wind, Wind Ranger? Like a... And five Omni? Like a two? I think... No, it's three Omni. It'll be Yaps no. or Om or Wind Ranger, okay, yeah. yeah. It's Yaps or... Okay. So oh. the, the Bristles are very similar to the Visage in the sense that very good laner. They could even try lane it into the Alk and then push his towers. This is cool, I think, because... Their approach is going to be, Five we're going to run at this remaining. Alchemist and kill him early with the Bristle, who comes online like super fast, especially if he, has, if he has good lanes. And he doesn't really care about Razor that much. Like, he can still no. do damage to Razor even yeah. if he links him. Obviously, Bristle will right-click pretty hard later on, but, um, you know, if your Wind Ranger is not getting her damage stolen, that's also pretty Br nice. Bristle's kind of cool with uh, you doing more damage to him because you're stealing his damage. It's like you're just you're just causing his quills to proc more. Yeah. So. I'm stoked about this. I think uh, this is a cool attempt to try to counter the alchemist. We'll see if it works. Feels very all in though. Secret need to not make a lot of this is like you mess up that high ground push and things get murky oh, yeah. sort of lineup, right? Oh yeah, you need to play real fast. What are you thinking, Gary? Vichy don't have any real great burst damage. Like getting a kill seems difficult against tiny bird. Like the, the actual heroes that are showing. Like if they smoke and they backstab some like the supports, fine. But if they go into a fight where Secret is showing and making the move, killing off Tiny, Bristle, like trying to get onto those heroes is impossible with Omni behind them. Oh, that is too I personally good. just think Alk is an unbelievably broken hero, Who and Vichy is a good enough them. team to just abuse it to win. I, uh, I definitely talked up Secret this, this match, but uh, I, I'm not going to lie, I like the Vichy lineup a lot more. Especially since, like... I think all they really care about is taking this as late as possible. Like this time, I forgot which game we watched, but like there was an out game where there wasn't really great eggs to give away. This game is different. There's so many good eggs this time. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> Who's the best? He's fine with this. I guess maybe the centaur actually, but Razor's is really Razor's good. good. Grimstroke is good. Ogre is good, and uh, centaur is good. They're all, really they're, all, they're, they're all really good. good. It just depends you, on what you're you, looking you, for. You probably give it to like the uh, the Grimstroke first, maybe the Centaur. I, I, if Bri I mean Bristle doesn't go Raddy anymore, does he? Like if, no, if they had a Raddy really. hero, then I'd agree. I, I think uh, he Grim, can, Grimstroke though. isn't as great this time. There's no like good illusion. Yeah, there's no good illusion hero. Yeah. 
So prob probably Centaur just for like the save and, and the and Alk then, and getting out of fights. Yeah. What then do you Razor, guys think then Ogre. is the ideal Bristle build when you want to play fast like this? Do you go like S and Y? Do you I, go Solar? I think, I think Solar. I think Solar's just like too... I think Crimson Guard is also good. Yeah, game. Solar, Crimson. Um, do you like early S and Y on Bristle? Get the good stuff. Uh, I don't know if he should go for it, but I'm kind of a, a fan if you want to do this sort of a draft. S and Y is nice in pubs, but have, having like Medallion Pipe at uh, 20 minutes is so I much just feel nice like Bristle back. You get so much tankier for so much less money by buying like the broken offlane items, and then they also allow Bristle to do damage as well. But I think Sanji Nash is not bad. Is it not just like a pipe solar game? Like there's magic from. I think all Gary the just really likes pipe. I think there's a crimson game. Denver. There's a really good crimson <laughs> game. This is, a, this is a crimson game. I don't think pipe is gonna get all that that much uh, value. So a good good solar game too. Is solar there ever a bad insane. solar yeah, it's game? Just an dude. insane no, item. This is great. Oh, it's a ridiculous a item. Although Omni might get it, so maybe you don't need the uh, Bristol to get a, a solar. He can pick up a medallion though. The right? Omni could go radiance, right? He could. Is that build totally dead now? It is a three Omni. We can't forget. I think it's. I think it's pretty. Like, if you're gonna go Omni Radiance, you would prefer the Bristol to get the Radiance because you can just cast all of yeah. Omni spells. It kind of doesn't fit anyway. with their timing, though. That is true. And it doesn't fit with their timing. So they're solo laning Zai here for whatever reason. Oh, Wind Ranger cut, cut the second wave. Okay, because Omni sucks at level one. It gets yeah. an ogre. He's gonna find a spot in the trees. Nice footwork from Zai. Uh oh, he's planking him. <laughs> the wind run slow. Had to wind run to save. Well, it works. Sai still has a salve, so he'll be all right. Nice last hit and fled. And this one? Nice. He's got all of them. No, he missed one. No, he got He got four of four. Yeah, Did he? he got them all. Yeah, he got four. Oh, I can't, can't see Look at him. He's five and a half. flame. Still fled. Bristol feels so good when you have a Crystal Maiden, though. Oh, yeah. Kind of breaks this hero a little bit. It does. This hero's not meant to have that much mana. Reason. Perpetual damage. Yeah. yeah. I just realized I'm like the worst person to ask for bristle builds because I always build it the same way. Uh, okay, and that's that Octarine Radiance? Yeah, it's the Octarine Radiance. <laughs> in, it, it's basically I'm trying to be Get invincible. Out. I'm trying to 1v5. That's my build. Waiting for level 25. You can yeah. just do that. You're just trying to entertain yourself. Except right? with yeah. good items. Yeah. Level 25, spell lifesteal in the fountain. Why yeah. would you get that when you get rapier damage? In the fountain. Oh my god. Rapier man. damage doesn't help you. Yeah, well, in the fountain. You can't, rapier damage is useless if you can't touch them. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Have okay. you heard of Halberd Jenkins, you bozo? You've convinced me. I think I'm, Radiance, I'm you. Sanji Nyasha is the way to go. No, so if you, get, if you get Radiance and you get Octarine, right, you get Shiva and Lotus, they cannot kill you because the only way you die is if you get Spirit Vessel. And that's what the Lotus is. DY, first blood, could be a come in. Yaps, we're going to look to commit for it in the trees. Finds him now, Ogre. <laughs> Thank you, Ogre. So, so beefy. unbelievably Big. I mean, he's Tango Regen as regen. well. I don't think it's he another can die. four hits. Yeah, I don't think he can die. He just, every time she hits him, he heals for the amount of damage that she did. Yeah. Stout shield. Minus maybe like one. All right. DY's good. They have, what, two and a half stacks of wave, though? That's, That's a three, nice three range creeps. Yeah, I love That's your you standard love big boy offline. there. I mean, Alka's still totally free farming, though, which is always a concern. Yeah. But mid lane's even, so that's fine for Secret. You expect the Razor to do pretty well. Tiny can toss back with Tiny, Yeah, I was going to say, Tiny can kill. Oh, oh Nisha's dead. Wow, that's great for Beach. First Ooh. blood, in fact. Thanks and have fun. That's the, that's the lane that needs it, too. This is the only lane that's possibly going to lose. Oh, he and, got the item. And isn't Bristol like the most sensitive to those early tumbles? <laughs> like, he's so reliant on this early momentum. Yeah. You mean chain mail, right, Garrett? Oh, yeah, he, yeah, Central got the item. The item. The <laughs> item. Yeah, chain yeah. mail in oh, he just did. Brilliant innovation. Oh, the nice swap. Very nice oh, 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 they got the other one. Two. Yang on the run, oh. slowed down and brought down. That quill damage. All right, Nisha finds a recovery. I really like that quick bottle pickup, too. It's like, he might have died, but. Does he give it up to Puppy to go? He gave on. it to Puppy, yeah. Oh, the DD gets it taken it, by it breaks the laning phase yeah. on Bristol to have a, a bottle this early on because there's this window of like three to five minutes where you just don't have any regen if you've if you've spammed out all of your quills mm -hmm. and then the bottle makes up for that and then you get the bounty runs. Isn't that so classic Bristol though? You kill him and he comes back to lane with full health just and mana and he just runs you. at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so annoying. The the strat in off lane Bristol for off lane Bristol used to be like you just spam all your quills until you're out of mana, then kill yourself and then keep doing it. It's so, totally solo. You'll be like zero and seven, but you'll be the highest level in the game. 
and have like five kills. Wait, I said zero and seven. Oh. Effective kills. Uh oh. Ooh, that bottle. Oh. It goes down. Okay. Awesome. One for one, though. Yang the gets the favorable trade. It's about to wear off, but he's got 18 one charges on Grim. Puppy must be so happy right now. As a support player, this is like the best feeling. Hit level Every four. Ooh, hit one. Both mids went the same runes. That wand was a little too much. That lets Ori get the second run. Can't juke this. Or can he? No, he can't. He, uh, he can, apparently. Unless. Or can he? No, he can't. He absolutely kills. Oh, he can. He can. Oh, they killed uh, Alchemist. That's really big. Oh, that's huge. rewind. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a big deal. That's that's like the only important kill so far. Nothing else matters. Dyer's top tower is about to take the plunge. Oh, uh, oh. just some invisible trees. Their structures. Attack the hero. This is uh, the most Omni Knight thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, oh they even put Razor up top as well. And then he says out. Oh, man, that feels bad. God's eyes a god. That's level 1 D gen, too. Yeah. He just ran him down. And down bottom, Fade also died to Nisha. Yeah, we watched that. that was one. Oh, that's a, I was looking that's at my given. phone. Sorry. Oh, yeah. He caught me. <laughs> no Bassy this game on mid one. He usually goes for a Bassy when he does this build. He didn't go for the free damage? He did not. I guess because his, his Wind Ranger already has one. And he's already farming like, just about perfectly. So. And he probably, he probably went Brown Boots. Win lace against Razor, right? True. Illusion. Red boots. Win lace. Red boots. Uh, he had brown boots at one point. Yeah, but they're blue now. Now the green. Oh, oh, that's very speedy. My goodness. Now he's got a tree, Jenkins. His boots went blue, and then he picked up a tree. Will he still buy Ags this game? Is it still Blink Echo Ags or like Blink Ags? I think Ags. I think Ags is just core on Tiny now. Yeah. Soul Ring on Paparazzi. Not going for the second bracer, I guess, opting to just get the strength from that soul ring. And he was. He is not getting great levels, so. You usually don't need the soul ring because you just get enough mana from the ulti, but when you're level 4 at 7 minutes, it seems like a pretty decent pickup. Secret of diving bottom to one tower. Won't last long. Uh, it's just, never mind. It's just Nisha. It's not uh, secret. It's just bristle. bristleback. He didn't buy the <laughs> item. Bristle didn't get chainmail? No, he didn't. Not oh, yet. Oh, yikes, dude. Is he getting treads? He'll get. Oh, no, he's going phase. He's got now, it. He has now it. Now he's got it. Now he's got go. it. He's good. He needed the damage, Jenkins. You scared me that, Jenkins. See, this is, I'm this just saying, the, uh, it's, been, it's been seven minutes and he does not have the item. Mm. This is the alchemist counter right here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stealing the creeps? No. Well, sure. But getting vision of the jungle, watching when he goes and farms. Wait, and what level is CM? Is CM six yet? How close to six? No way there. Dude, well, th this actually is a, a nice a nice counter. I feel like Murano will probably be pretty good too. Wait, well, can we look at net worth now? Just like steel creeps. Overall, this is pretty good for secret. The Alk is uh, behind the Bristle. Okay, this is great for secret in terms of keeping the Alchemist at bay. They yeah. still have work to do, but in the last few Alchemist games we saw at eight minutes, it looked way worse. Down bottom now, initiation onto the oh. Bristle back. Nisha, certain to fall. Three heroes show bot, Zai plays top, it's only DY. They also saw the Alk moving through the jungle. Secret had three heroes converging on Alk. I don't know if they catch him, they try, or? but it's too far. Man, he can't jungle. So they keep bothering him. Yeah, Tiny can steal the stacks now. He can just go to the triangle. Is he toss? And this is fine, they don't have to kill him. As long as he's not farming and they're messing up these stacks and stealing creeps, I mean, he's he, already he, a win. He, he can just go to the triangle, there's no wards there. He's got two wards protecting him. Well, he's back at mid for now, it looks like. He finally hit six. That's really helpful. Puppy's just in the jungle, stealing. Creeps. So annoying. This is why a lot of the time... Well, actually, Dyer do have wards at the entrance to both the jungles. But if you watch... Uh, if you watch OG play this, they put the ward not at the entrance to their jungle. They put it in their jungle, like scouting their jungle but also giving vision of the entrance. 
it won't be like a deep ward, like, well, deep, cheat. I can't believe I'm calling a jungle, like your own jungle ward deep, but these days it is. But they'll put it like literally in their own jungle on the shrine Dyer's and just get vision of the, the high ramps, or of the, of the ramps. So that way you'd see Puppy and he wouldn't be able to do what he's doing. <laughs> I don't yeah, think... there was a big shift in warding from like access points to actual plateaus and like flat ground wards. Oh, look at this invasion. Now, counterplay on to Zai. Nice stun from the Grimstroke, but are they actually going to be able to find this? Vote. Stroke of Fate does connect. Vichy's doing a good job protecting their own jungle here. Not letting this slide, although. Yes, in lane. Mid, mid one pressure in the mid tower definitely is. A good use of the space. It's like yeah. they're keeping Alka alive, but Bristol's still out farming it. It feels like they're doing a good job of responding to what Secret are doing. It's just Secret have like an extra step on top. Like they're dragging VG into their own jungle to go and push mid and bot. They're dragging heroes like down bot where they kill Bristol, but then they're warding in the enemy jungle to find where the Alka is. There's always that. If, if Nisha wasn't bot farming and pushing, and mid one wasn't mid pushing while this stuff was happening in the jungle, I think it would be bad for Secret, but yeah. it's, it's really good that they have other things happening on the map. Yeah, like these towers falling, if, if they take them, this is actually really nice from Secret. Yeah, I really mid tier like one's nearly dead. So they're saying, they're basically saying fuck the top lane. We're gonna push bot, we're gonna push mid, because that way we can take the triangle. And before that point, they're just gonna pressure the Alk out of his own jungle. Yeah. So nice. after this, Alk is probably gonna move into the triangle. And because of mid one and Nisha pushing in the mid and bot lane, they're going to have access to the triangle because of how they're playing the map right now. This is so nice from Secret, actually. It almost feels like we're at the stage where, like, Vichy, of course, have to hard defend this. Oh, Stampede now. They want to chase Nisha into the tree line. Oh, Zai's the there. Out comes the Soul Bind. Might make things more difficult for Secret. They'll lose Zai. Nisha kind of sustaining. They do turn a kill onto Yang. The Bristleback's still alive. The Heavenly Grey's helping out a lot. Ori goes down, but they do also lose Puppy. Secret with Yapthor on the low ground will make it happen. Wow. A this two for three. Nisha just turns his back and says, yeah, go on, hit me. Hit me, see what happens. Ra if Razor's not a Bristle guy. That is not fun. No. Yosin, how bad is this for Vichy? It's uh, pretty bad. Pretty bad. The, yeah. the thing is, like, whenever you play Alchemist, you, I think around this point, this is where you start to see like your Alchemist pull ahead further and further away from your enemy core. And the fact that Nisha is still ahead of him at 11 and a half minutes is a really bad sign for them. Yeah. This this looks like secret from the group stage and from before TI. Like Pick they're playing the map incredibly fast right yeah. now. Yeah. Like yep. in retrospect it feels like, you know, Vichy maybe should have gone for that tier one stop earlier on. Go for the enemy triangle just so Alec has an additional right, place right. to farm. But because they were reacting to secret the entire time, they never had like a chance to make well, a road you, move. You can react. A lot of teams do react Dyer's with an alchemist on their team, but they'll pick better heroes for attack. reacting. Yeah. But, like, it also shows how misleading the numbers are with Alk compared to like when he's absolutely free farming in some of the games that we saw. He accelerates so stupidly fast, it just seems broken. And this is like a middle ground where they're not killing him where he's just getting dumpstered. They're just interrupting him, right? And that's enough to completely break up the momentum. And now the, he's just a normal hero. We'll see, though. We'll see. For now. For now. Because but when you hit that BK, when you, or when you hit the Radiance Assault Kuros timing, things get, things get insane. Oh, well, we're going to find Nogar. How close is he to Radiance? He's not that close. But Al like, Radiance Alk doesn't, like, he does lots of damage over time and he's unkillable, right? He's tanky. That, that, oh, that, that's his big selling. You don't fight with the Radiance. You fight with the AC. Yeah, with an AC. He's, you're still against Bristle Tiny. Like, this magic burst and physical burst once stacks are up from Bristle We'll see. We'll see. Because I've, you know, I've been in games with this Alk where we're just dumpstering him. And then the guy gets a Radiance and he instantly farms an AC. Okay. And then he's two hitting my Bristle back who's supposed to be carrying me. You know, it's it's like, we'll see. I mean, I, I, I think Secret's obviously playing really well. No, I'm not disagreeing with that. Like, they're completely outclassing Vichy here in terms of moving around the map. And, and the draft the draft was really good. Like, they didn't even hard commit to countering the Alk. They're just playing really well around it. Um, but with that being said, Alk is insanely broken, and we'll see. He is going to go for the pipe, by the way. On me? On, 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 I mean, I do agree with you. It is a good pickup. I think Especially since I you just, know Radiance is going to be coming yeah. out. I just don't think he ever dies to physical damage. Like he, or, or, or rather, he only ever dies to magical damage. Like they're going to need a little bit of extra magic damage, even if they do do physical damage. Yeah. He'll be at like 30% HP, then that's when the magic damage comes in. 
So he can make himself immortal essentially by building into it's, it's a, just really, at least a hood. It's just really nice for your team because you know there's stuff like plasma field coming out, stroke yeah. of faith. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it's it's also for uh, pushing high ground against the grim stroke mm -hmm. and the the razor. Like uh, they can pipe the, creep pipe the wave and then push high ground. And yeah. when you're against an alchemist, you go high ground asap. You know, right. and, and, and Omni's going for the solar crest, so you don't need to build one. Oh, he has building everything. everything. He's building a, a, a medallion. At what point are we going to see Alpha take over? He's so close, but Nisha is actually still ahead. <laughs> so they've got double medallion. Yep, but I, I, th I think Omni's probably going to build it into a solar, and Basol will just leave it as a casual medallion. Okay. Or two medallion, two, or two solars is not bad because you can use one defensively, one offensively, or you can just solar the solar here, the hero who has a solar, and it does both. Would you put it on Razor or the Alk? Because like Razor is it negative seventy attack speed? Yeah, it just doesn't hit at all. Steal all that damage, don't hit. I think I think on the Alk up to for killing him, it's 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 really important to burst the Alk down. You could also just du you could just so have um, the Omni solar the Bristle mm -hmm. and just. The Bristle not sold to solar anybody. Very nicely done. Make him insane, make him insane, this is insane. such a huge deal, by the way. Yeah. Taking oh. all four bounties away from the Alchemist is actually... Like I feel like Vici needed to be in position for that earlier. They were a little late on the smoke. Is about sure. to flounder. It's so nice that the Bristle back works on towers now. Everybody thought that it, it, that it worked on towers before. But then when they changed it, it's like, oh what, that didn't work on towers? No wonder I died. Diving towers. Oh, he's worth a PK. Uh-oh. Ori's in trouble. How far are they going to go? Optimistic, yes. not going to happen. Okay, a good old Troy. Meanwhile, Bristol's taking tier two and pushing your high ground. I mean, you just went for the casual this is, hood. This is the point where you're like, uh... How do we deal with the Bristol, guys? <laughs> I mean, this is... Maybe not his only peak, but this is definitely one of his peaks. You've got these great value items with really easy build-ups. Look at that inventory. Is that, it is, that is echo? 16 yeah. minutes in, and they've just taken a tier 3 in 20 seconds. Uh, I mean, you hear people say you can play early game against Alchemist, but this sort of takes it to another level. And with the Omni Knight to boot, it makes the Bristle actually feel unkillable. He'd be hard to kill anyway, but the Heavenly Grace plus the heals? Fucking hell, mate! <laughs> Look, what are they going to do to him? Oh, nice try. And now Concoction lasts one second, and he's free again. And he's full health. <laughs> what was that? And Fully charged full Concoction. He's like, whatever. Dude, this is actually so cool. You know, I feel a little I, bad I for Beachy. The start. Secret. They know. There's a reason they didn't deal with you. They you did say that. Okay, ju out. Just for the record, I've been saying for weeks now the way to deal with Alps is by playing fast. So... I still right. think it's broken. All right, we're all hipsters today. Oh, we yeah, all yeah. called it. I now have, yeah, I have he's a be in some I have a record of it. I said it in a video. Oh, okay. He tweeted. I made a video. Timestamp or it didn't happen. Eos improved it with a tweet, yeah. dude. I got to see a timestamp here. We're a screenshot or bust <laughs> kind of community. Okay. So. Oh, I, I owe you a retweet if you can prove it, Doug. I didn't tweet it. Well, okay. that's your mistake. That was your big There's problem. There's your mistake. Uh, all right, sure after this game, we'll teach you how to use your social media, but don't worry. This Omni pick was Fuck really, <laughs> I really, really like this Omni pick. They picked it with like, the utmost confidence in Zai's ability to just ruin this Alchemist game. And he did exactly that. I feel like every time we see Omni Bristle, it seems like the Bristle is completely unkillable. But also does 10 billion damage, so you have to kill him. Yeah. And then you have four heroes that can just play from Fog. Yeah. Like the Heavenly Grace on Bristle is not okay. This hero was not built to have status resist. Which is why you think Sanjin Yasha would be quite Halberds. good. But it's dog. Halberd's pretty good. That's true. I'm just, yeah, I love how Sanjin's stack, but Yasha's don't. Speed? Yeah. It's like weird. status resistance. Status it resistance. used to. It does, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird that Yule stacks. You can have like six Yules and you'll be super fast. Oh, the move speed the from, move speed Yule, from stacks. Yule stacks. Yeah. That's dumb. It's because it's more expensive. You don't want two Yules to share a cooldown. It sucks. Well, that is drop. That is you don't correct. want two drums. So, like, what? The drums don't stack. Oh. Not oh. Really yeah. they do. That ogre's dead. I hate to say it, but, uh, man, Beachy are. 
Do you know unwinnable territory. <laughs> they're crumbling they're like a cookie that's been overcooked. Like their central has a vanguard. What does he do? He He's already spent stampede. Anything. He can't get into fights. They've got and to walk it in. They have to right. literally walk Rimsaro's it in. Rimsaro's got the GPM talent. And now he has a uh, solar crest. Like, he, he has a bottle DD. DD rune. <laughs> yeah. And that's what's so sick about all these items that he has. You have this basic kit that gives you a lot of value, and then you can upgrade all of them. You don't have any slot issues anymore. You go Crimson Guard, you go Pipe, you go Solar Crest. It's so, it's so beautiful. It's so poetic look, look in at nature. Him. They're just looking at him. They actually don't know what to do. Misha is a poet of our time. He just Paparazzi's, expresses himself Paparazzi's in different ways. Like, Let me hit the creeps, guys. I'll get there. Eventually, eventually, the alcohol farm. Right now, Paparazzi is saying, minutes. guys, technically when we lose these barracks, the equilibrium will be in our favor, and now I can farm more safely. So just give me... Alc loves Mega Creeps. Give me this another free five. Gold. That's his free gold right there. <laughs> He's trying to rally the troops. Yeah, That's I all do. they can do. I too love it when I lose both racks in 19 minutes. <laughs> Bottom lane, and then my boy. race against solo killed uh, by a pause for Wind Ranger. Like yeah, that's really cool. Glacier. Maelstrom Blink. I mean, everyone's going to be rich, right? They took two lanes of racks, every single tower. He's going they're, they're probably going to get four bounties right here. Yeah, they, they, ba they backed off from the racks for that kill around the bounty <laughs> and then And then four bounties again. <laughs> yeah. He should look, just playing mid. Look, with the they, side. they know all three heroes are bottom, and they are not afraid to do this. That's that's the state of this game. <laughs> he just game. leaves he it leaves for Zai. He pinged it as well. Here you go. Little buddy. lay up there. Go and have this one. Oh, there you are. There you are. There you are. Can I get, can I get twos on that barracks? <laughs> <laughs> can I get twos on that racks? <laughs> okay, he has BKB. Now what? And now he will counter the bristle back. Uh, oh, wait, he won't. No. Oh, he sunned himself. Whoa. Uh oh. So it was a mistiming. Mistiming. And then? And then, uh. And, and then? Yeah. Mm. That Heavenly Grace made the uh, Grimstone ulti last, like, two seconds. All right, I'm starting to become a believer in this Omni Might bullshit. Heavenly Finally. Grace. Finally! Might be we, busted. We've been arguing this since the. Literally, the. Well, the I needed <laughs> to see some more games before I could make up my mind, and it turns out you bozos might have been right about something. We get off the plane, get into the Uber, and immediately Omni Knight's being argued and discussed. He has been, been talking been like a day look, at, look, at, look at this the centaur. He just walks in and he's walking out. He actually didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. It's. He has a well, is well established that Vichy is. It's just so dumb on these Vichy heroes that are done. already super tanky. Like, oh, there's an egg. Oh, oh, big boy tosses there is trees. An egg. There's a GA, though, as well. There's no buyback. Oh, Razor. Razor. Welcome centaur. back, Centaur. He actually hasn't done anything yet, by the way. Paparazzi Come on out. starting to click. Maybe they'll find a kill here. The Omni Knight's down. This Let's could go. be the turn. Buyback from mid one. Still two down on the side of Vichy and the Centaur in some big trouble. Grimstroke oh, also looking die, to Alchemist. be, but the Alchemist don't locked die. down now. He needs to get out and he can't. Oh, Four GG. diebacks and that'll be it. Another 20 minute game. Minutes. That was brutal. Fuck me. Fade Bonkers. Dude, Fade slammed his keyboard and just hit the pause key. That's what happened. That's a rage pause right there. I've seen no, that that's before. not a rage pause. That's it's actually much sadder than that. That's a, I accidentally, no, that's a, I, I accidentally hit the pause button when I put my face into my hands. Oh. Oh. It's much yeah. darker. I thought it was that. like when I put my fist into the keyboard no. sort of thing. You don't rage at that. You, you, you just feel like Bristle Omni's bullshit. 